Hello everyone, welcome to the live show. Tonight we are going to be talking about facial oils and we have a lot of oils to talk about tonight. I think a lot of people tend to like the facial oil topics so we are going to talk about 10 facial oils. All these facial oils have anti-aging properties and these facial oils I consider to be special facial oil that you can use on your skin. Some you can use directly, some you can mix with your regular um, carrier oil and some you can even mix in your favorite body lotion. However, they are all rich in antioxidants that will help to brighten the skin. Now, why do you need a facial oil? A facial oil will help your skin to look younger and fresher once used on a regular. Also, 90% of your facial cream, serums, and you know, whatever it is you're using on your skin contain a bit of a facial oil. So these are special oil and oils, and we have a lot to go through. We have 10 oils. So the Nate, what I'm gonna be doing, I am gonna go through each and every one of these oils, tell you the benefits of the oils, and also share a few recipes and how to use this oil on your skin. So if you're into facial oils, you are at the right place. Now, when it comes on to facial oils, facial oils, here is a tip before we start. When you're searching for your facial oils, be mindful of the container that your facial oil is in. You need to find facial oils that are in dark, glass bottles and if you look at all these oils that i'm going to share with you tonight they all have one thing in common they are in dark bottles the reason for that is a story you do not want your facial oils to be exposed to light so keep your facial oils in a dark area in your home you can keep them in your um cabinets in your bathroom but make sure they are away from excess heat and moisture okay so the darker the better the bottle is so that's one thing you need to know about facial oil so we're gonna dive right in our 10 facial oils but before we do so let's welcome our moderator to the show hello lucy how are you welcome let's welcome some of our members of the channel we have loretta and let's see who else is here so far and um, i'm seeing just loretta so far and we have our faithful subscribers hi makeup forever we have margaret we have um keisha we also have um Delores. how are you oh, welcome so what we're gonna be doing we are gonna select each of the recipe okay if you're new also go ahead and comment let us know that you're new so i can actually give you a shout out now i personally use a lot of facial oils on my skin as a matter of fact i prefer to use facial oils than a facial moisturizer and the reason for that is that i have control over the amount of oil that i use on my skin not only that I get a chance to mix a lot of amazing oils together to create an even more powerful oil for my aging skin. So if you are a little skeptical about using facial oils, or if you know, know, do not know exactly how to use the facial oils on the skin, continue to watch, because you're gonna learn a thing or two. Welcome to um, CKK, hashtag CKK. From the Philippines how are you doing I normally like when I see my subscribers from the Philippines because they are like the thirdest the thirdest they are like the third largest 
group of watchers for my channel so america is first india is second and the philippine is third believe it or not so i do have a whole lot of filipinas as subscribers so i like when you guys are here i have been promising a late night show for you but i have not gotten around to it but hopefully hopefully i will you know get to a chance to have a show run about like 1 a.m just to accommodate you because I got I'm getting the email so welcome to you we also have TBC and TBC Queen is a new subscriber welcome to the live chat um, and we also have another Filipino Ellie -E -L -L welcome Beverly Ains this is Beverly Ains from Trinidad welcome to the show Carol Carolina I'm watching from the Philippines. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are here. I tell you, if you're watching from the Philippines, go ahead and comment, 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 comment. I have been receiving the emails and I know how much you all want me to do a show where, you know, more you guys could get to see. Gloria, I do not know what is wrong with your messages but each time you post a message is the same that you know whether or not to hide it so check your standing and YouTube because something is definitely up and we have um Jocelyn Woodley welcome Bella welcome watching oh watching from the Philippines yes go ahead and keep commenting if you are watching from the Philippines we also have dark angel new subscriber from Canada and we have Veronica from upstate and it's freezing and it's also freezing down here in Brooklyn so I know if we are like you know freezing like this this morning was 19 degrees I just know what you guys are going on um, getting up there now let's dive into the very first aisle keep commenting and also let me know where you are watching from that is also nice I like to know what time of the night or day is available so if you're new keep commenting and also comment if you're watching where you are watching from now we're gonna start out with the oils each and every one of these oils we're gonna go into into details we're gonna go through a few oils that you are familiar with to begin with and then right around the middle I'm gonna pull out some oils that some might be familiar with and some might not but they are all facial oil and we have Lenore Richardson watching from Belize welcome welcome and the lovely island of Barbados Margaret and Joycelyn um, your program is very very informative thank you for that now continue to share Catherine from the Philippines and we have Maureen from Canada continue to post continue to comment and where you are watching from comment 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 I like to receive the comments now let's dive into the very first oil now the very first oil is pomegranate seed oil and if you're on the live chat and you're familiar with pomegranate seed oil I want you to comment right now now this is not a sponsored video I am sharing these oils and all these oils are my personal oils that I use on my skin and also oils that I share with you so please do not ask about any particular brand what you need to know before you get your special oil you need to look for a certain words well a few words when you're trying to buy your facial oil first thing you need to look for is to make sure that the oil is in the dark bottle like I just mentioned the second thing you need to look for is whether the oil is cold press or first press those are two main words that you need to look for when you're buying your facial oils look for cold press and first break at first press and if you're fussy you can also look for the word organic okay now I recently spoke about organic and how I feel about it but I'm not getting into that today so I'm having a little distraction right here guys I like to watch my camera and it's really distracting me today so I just to um, you know get rid of that now take a look at this pomegranate seed oil I don't know if you could see it where you're watching from notice on the bottom right here right here it said cold press cold press so that's what you need to look for when you are looking for your oil except a certain oil which I'm gonna talk about later so first thing 
learn how to buy your facial oil dark bottle and you're gonna look for first press now let me talk really really quick about the meaning of first press before I talk about the pomegranate seed oil for those of you who are not familiar with first press what is he simply saying is that this is the first set of oil that you get when you squeeze whatever you're trying to extract the oil from that's the first set of oil now when we use the word cold press we mean that there's no heat source that was used to extract the oil no heat source was used to extract the oil when it is labeled cold press first press first oil that you get from whatever you're getting your oil from cold press no heat source we have some exceptional oils that definitely need its source to be effective which i'm going to talk about a few of those but let's dive into pomegranate seed oil now pomegranate seed oil is amazing for the skin it is rich in vitamin c and if you know anything about vitamin c you know that this this is one important antioxidant that will help to get rid of spots and blemishes on the skin but this is also an amazing oil to boost collagen production in the skin you can see my face looking oily already because i was like okay let me do some oil tonight but this pomegranate seed oil is probably pretty new to a lot of people because I recently discovered the pomegranate seed oil maybe about a year or so ago and I've been using it and loving it. Now, if you are familiar with pomegranate, however, you will know that pomegranate has been used for centuries on the skin a couple of years ago like 10 years ago when you go out in the market to find like shower gel and shampoos and you know body care body butter and all of that you would have seen a lot of pomegranate then after a while it kind of went away as with a lot of products that you use on the skin but however now the pomegranate is back and it's back in full force with the pomegranate seed oil now if you're wondering if this have any form of a fragrance to it let me sniff and tell you it's have a nice little thing but nothing overpowering nothing sweet now take a look at this particular particular pomegranate seed oil now I'm sure some of you might be wondering if it is pomegranate seed oil why is it not pink or why is it not red you also need to know that the pomegranate seed itself is not red the pomegranate seed is not red. The pomegranate seed is basically somewhere between brownish and whitish, somewhere there. What is red is the outer coating where the water is that surround the pomegranate seed. So when you burst open your pomegranate and you see all of that red, what we call the seed, inside of that, you will find another seed. And that is what they use to extract the pomegranate seed oil from. What I like about this, and you saw, I just put one drop on my hand right now, and you can see how moisturizing this is, how hydrating is it, and this also show you that all you need is one to two drops of the pomegranate seed oil. One to two drops is gonna take your skin to the next level now how do you use the pomegranate seed oil you use the pomegranate seed oil in your regular facial moisturizer if not use your pomegranate seed oil on top of your moisturizer frankly for me i don't have the time for that i like to just drop two drops in the moisturizer if i'm using it now when you wash your face use a facial cleanser cleanse the skin then you spritz on some facial toner and then your serum and then you use your facial oil. So you have a choice. After applying serum to the skin, you can choose to use your facial moisturizer or you can choose to use the oil. Or you can mix both together or you can use the moisturizer and then you add the oil and top. To use a facial oil, believe it or not, 
it is the last thing that you apply on your skin that is actually the rules of applying products to the skin most people don't I really don't I like to mix it with something with a moisturizer or use it directly on the skin now let's talk a little bit more about the pomegranate seed oil the pomegranate seed oil is considered a special oil meaning that you can mix it with a carrier oil carrier oil such as avocado oil coconut oil um, almond oil olive oil and soy oil those are some of the special oil that you can mix your pomegranate seed oil with one tablespoon of any special oil to a teaspoon of the pomegranate seed oil will give your skin an amazing natural glow what's the best time to use the pomegranate seed oil you can choose to use it a.m. or p.m. and there you go pomegranate seed oil if you have a question about pomegranate seed oil comment right now because we have nine more oils to go through and I have to move on very very fast hello darling bottle how are you you are from New York now darling bottle from New York are you the Darlene that I personally know, not knowing your surname? Let me know, let me know, let me know. All right, any question on pomegranate seed oil? Go ahead, comment, because we're going to move on, because we want to move on really, really fast. Hello, Sharon Bennett from Dallas. Welcome to the show. We also have JC from the Philippines. Welcome to the show. And we also have um, Shakila. Um, Passad, where can you buy the oils? After the show is over, I am going to list all the oils in the description box with the link. The honest truth is I prepared the link. I didn't get to add it, but it's ready. So as soon as the show is done, look in the description box. You're going to see the links to all the oils that we're talking about today. Matilda, can you tell us the 10 oils, please? Yes, we just finished with pomegranate, and we're going to move on to the next oil. Now let me reach for a special oil that I personally like. This oil, notice again, the oil is in a dark bottle. Now take a look at what I have here. And there are a lot of you who are not familiar with this oil. You are familiar, but you do not know that this oil is amazing for the skin. And this is sesame seed oil. Yes, sesame seed oil is amazing for the skin. But please listen carefully. Do not click off right now and run to your kitchen to get your sesame seed oil because you need to know something before. Sesame seed oil have anti-aging properties. It is amazing for the skin, smooth wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. It contains vitamin A, vitamin C, and also vitamin E. Now, please bear in mind that the sesame seed oil that you use on your skin is not the one that you use for cooking. And that is why I'm telling you, do not click off and run in the kitchen. Sesame seed oil for your skin should be, and I'm trying to see if it's written on this, but it is, but it's like really, really fine. Sesame seed oil for your skin should be unroasted, unroasted. Sesame seed oil for your skin should be unroasted and it doesn't hurt if it is first pressed or it is cold pressed on roasted and when you get your on roasted sesame seed oil guess what fragrantless basically smelling nothing at all do not use your sesame seed oil that is roasted when the sesame seed oil is roasted it's going to release this acid and the acid that is released Rinsalilic acid is going to give it that strong scent that you get when you do your stir fry or you get your Chinese food. That is because the sesame seed is roasted. For your skin, you need unroasted to get the full benefit of the sesame seed oil. I don't have a dropper for my sesame seed oil. And look at the mouth of this bottle. It's huge. But I'm going to show you really, really quick. If you have dry skin, if you have wrinkles on the skin, if you have young, fresh, supple skin and is looking to preserve your skin, to keep it from getting wrinkles, if you have large pores, if you have scars on the skin, if you're looking to plump your skin up, this oil is for you. 
Now, one of the reasons why you do not see sesame seed oil around is because it gets a bad rap. And the bad rap it get is that most people think of sesame seed oil with that strong fragrance. So even if they go out to get sesame seed oil, they're going to think that, oh, if I use sesame seed oil on my skin, I'm going to smell like stir fry. No, once you get the unroasted sesame seed oil, that is the one that is good for the skin. I use this a lot. I use it a lot. And when the show is over, if you know nothing about the unroasted sesame seed oil, research it for yourself. Don't be afraid to use it in your DIY. One to two drops of sesame seed oil can be used directly on clean skin. So you just saw the amount I poured on my skin. Now, the reason why I chose all these oils, I also want you to know that these oils are not heavy at all. And this is what makes them special for your face. So look, face, neck, and decollete. Already I have pomegranate seed on the bottom. Now I'm applying the sesame seed oil on top of the pomegranate seed. And look at that. You see, it's not greasy at all. And that is what I like about it. And fragrant wise, basically fragrantless. So sesame seed oil, a, bit, a really good oil for most skin type. Now, if you have any question about sesame seed oil, go ahead and comment right now because we gotta move on to our next oil. All right, Jill, can you please take pomegranate seed oil internally and the reason why i'm not answering that right now all the oils that i'm sharing today are geared towards using topically on the skin all the oils are geared towards using topically on the skin and you can send me an email um 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 jill when we talk about pomegranate seed oil okay all right so darling ron darling but welcome to the show matilda can you tell us okay so i just read that um Wait, what's the process? And um, I'm not sure what you were talking about. All right, so let's move on. Hello, darling bottle. We have two darling on today. And we also have Laila. I think I probably messed your name up from California. All right, so next oil that we're going to talk about is a very special oil for me and i share this a lot on my channel this oil was introduced to me by one of my subscribers and every day once i talk about this oil i always give my subscriber a shout out because she put me on to something really good and this is um papaya seed oil this was um suggested by um, Rita Holmes, which is normally on these days on the 3D gaming. And I'm telling you, I'm almost out. I'm almost out. Look at that. Look at that. I'm almost, this is like where it is. Take a note. Also dark bottles. Now, how does papaya seed works on the skin? Papaya seed contains vitamin C. It also contains vitamin E, and it's of a little bit of a vitamin A, but it's more stronger in vitamin C. Okay, now papaya seed, perfect for wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. If you have these deep parentheses on your skin, this is the oil that you use. And look at that one drop i don't even want to waste it look how clear and crystallized this is and the same thing goes for the papaya seed oil 100 percent pure papaya seed oil that is what you need to use natural refined and you also need first press okay now this is the papaya seed oil and you can blend it in your skin you can use oh my goodness so soft you can just blend it in your skin like that and guess what i like to do with my papaya seed oil i like to take it and i like to press it in my laugh lines i like to press it in the laugh lines anywhere i have wrinkles on my skin and then i massage it on my skin ooh, 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 ooh. this is such an amazing oil now if you watch my channel a lot you will know that i use a lot of fresh papaya on this channel i love using the papaya on my skin the reason for that it really works for wrinkles and fine lines if you have wrinkles and fine lines and sagging skin the papaya seed oil as your after and the fresh papaya seed this week i'm going to be making a new papaya facial mask like papaya and milk mix up together and just oh your face your neck and your decollete but i'm telling you once you rinse your face off you apply the papaya seed on top of your serum 
blend it in mix it in and you're on your way to amazing looking skin now if you are at the age where you are not yet seeing the wrinkles on the fine lines get your papaya seed oil because it's gonna help to prevent the wrinkles on fine lines you don't want to wait till you get to my age where the wrinkle already appear you want to start to use it early and it's an amazing oil to mix with other oils take a look at this this is the sesame seed oil look at this thing kissing up right here the papaya seed oil and the sesame seed oil mix together create a very powerful anti-aging facial oil you have crepey looking neckline mix these two together and massage it you have wrinkle looking hands mix these two together and massage it on your hands amazing amazing if you have any comment about the papaya seed oil comment right now if you're just joining what did you miss pomegranate seed oil sesame seed oil and papaya seed oil any question on papaya seed oil go ahead comment right now because we are moving along we are moving along <clears throat> moving along yes I'm in a good mood today I don't know why honestly I know why I'm in a good mood let me tell you why I'm in a good mood and don't laugh at me I actually got a lot done today like I got a lot done today i have been up from the crack at dawn and when i complete most of what i have to do for a day then i'm a happy camper all right any question go ahead and comment free to be happy oh my goodness i love that handle free to be happy it's so softening does your papaya seed oil have a sweet scent very very good question absolutely not absolutely not it's almost like fragrant free the only oil so far that have a little whiff of fragrant free it's like mm, almost like you wouldn't like the scent of it <laughs> like like nothing okay the only eye so far that have a little whiff to it is the pomegranate seed oil no fragrant at all patricia Papaya seed oil is good for deep flop line and forehead and crow's feet. Yes, 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 yes. Gillette Simit, love your show. Need some of those stuff you're sharing about. I'm in Jamaica. I'm troubled with bad acne and it leaves dark spots. So I'm just going to advise you to watch our 25 day skincare challenge. I'm advising you to watch the 25 day skincare challenge. We're going to have another one starting maybe next month, sometime like that. Cause you know, I got a little commitment and you know, so on, so on. So I don't know if I can commit anytime this month, but we're going to start it maybe next week, next month, but we already did one series. 25 day skincare challenge you watch the playlist is below the video click on it and take from day one and try some of those recipe and try some of those advice you know get your skin looking good in no time amazing and if you want to follow the new one just keep watching the challenge the channel and stay tuned because a lot of people have amazing results in 25 days leonita leonita <laughs> Le um, sesame seed oil and papaya, papaya seed oil is better to anti-aging yes 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 and um matilda what is special about each oil they are very light and when you apply it to this okay so when i'm done i'm gonna go back over but as of now i tell you what is special about the rest of the oils that we are gonna share now i'm pulling out a very familiar oil and most of you look at me I'm sweating guess why I'm under so much light inside here just <laughs> my pictures looking good but anyway and the heat is coming up it's cold and I think I need to turn the heat down a little but let's pull out a special oil this oil most of you are familiar with this is the obo oil and some of you might okay when i was growing up and my first encounter with obo oil you know i don't know nothing about spanish or anything like that so it is jojoba oil jojoba oil until one day i was like like oh jojoba, jojoba oil and someone was like no it's not jojoba it's actually obo and i was like you know having a fit about it like no 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 the j the da the da the da until you know later on i learned that it is um obo but the honest truth is i think that you should pronounce words 
according to your language. So like for me, we speak English, so it should be jojoba because it's, um, anyway, we ain't talking about that. Let's get over it. So if you call it ooba, it's okay. The correct name, baby, because where it was originated is jojoba, which J is like, anyway, this oil is another oil that is good for your skin here and nails okay skin ear and nails the jojoba oil can use on your skin it can use in your hair massage the scalp it is good for your fingernails and all of that it contains vitamin c vitamin e and a bit of a vitamin a oil now when it comes on to the jojoba oil you'd also need it to be cold pressed this one is cold pressed and unrefined cold press unrefined and there is something about this one is certified organic but i'm going to tell you something also um some of you might be aware of this and some of you might not this oil have on it um chemical free the oil have chemical free now i personally use oils on my skin because i want to get rid of the chemical however some oils do contain a bit of a preservative which is what is considered the chemical in the oil some oil do contain a bit of a preservative so when you're looking for your special oil always look for 100 percent pure 100 percent pure will not have any additional preservative okay so please know that 100% pure and the reason why they put it on this is to let you know there's no additive to it so this no brand I'm not advertising for anyone these are my oil this particular oil is a hundred percent pure or over oil so be mindful now how do you use the ooba oil? You can use the ooba oil directly on the skin. You can even use the ooba oil as a carrier oil for any of the other special oil. You can use the ooba oil in your regular DIY, like you know when you're making your oil blend, when you're make mixing it with some aloe vera gel, mix it up for a good moisturizer. Whatever you do. Get yourself an ooba oil if you are interested in an oil that is not only going to be good for your face, your body, but also your hair and nails. I'm not staying long on the ooba because a lot of people is familiar with the ooba. We're going to take some questions and then we're going to move on. If you're just joining, you miss a few of the oils we're talking about. We're talking about 10 oils today. The first one was the pomegranate seed oil the second one was the sesame seed oil the third oil was the papaya seed oil and the next oil is the ooba oil so right now we did four oils and we have six to go but before we go let's take some question let me hear from you we have four oils so far which of these oils is your favorite and if you're on the chat and you're watching have you tried any of these oil and if so which one and tell us what you think about the oils i'm gonna take some questions and then we are gonna move on so let me hear you comment and if you're watching and you didn't thumbs the video up go ahead show some love to the channel by thumbs in the video up if you want to support the channel comment and give us a little thumbs up let's take this up to 100 thumbs up show some love to the channel i think i'm gonna be cutting a cd very soon okay i'm gonna you know try to 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 announce my voice i was raised in the church guys yes i was raised in the church so you bring on the church song i know and a lot of you know very successful singers you know actually um grew up in the church and i am one such person but i haven't been singing like for um i normally do that in the bathroom but like really really getting into the groove and really singing i haven't done so but i love to sing even though i'm not really really good at it i can keep a note however you know as i said because of the chart all right comment 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 bridget jones bridget jones diary i read that book like about three times and anyway what can you use for damaged cell on your face now when you mention damaged cell on the face now you know the skin all right 
I'm going to go off on a road where some people is going to click off. So let me not go to that, you know, biological route right now. So let me just take it face value as if I know nothing about what you're saying, where it comes out to the cell. So what can you do for damaged cell? You can steam your face and exfoliate the face and when you exfoliate the face you get a good antibacterial depending if you have like acne or you know excess blackheads on the skin and you use it with a good moisturizer the trick is to keep your face clean keeping your face clean mean you got to wash it a.m. and p.m. now I like to introduce steaming to a lot of my subscribers because it also has to kill any form of a bacteria on the skin that might cause any form of a breakout okay so prevent the breakout and we have one oil in the group coming up that is also good for anti-inflammatory and antibacterial that can take care of your skin the trick to any skincare routine is to be persistent and also to do it religiously know your skin type also know your skin type so you can know what to use margaret or over oil i use on my face oily i find it does not add an additional sheen i love it and that's the reason why i chose these oil they are not greasy at all you Carrier oils are normally more greasy, like the olive oil and the coconut oil and all of that. But these special oils that I'm sharing with you tonight, they are not greasy at all. And they absorb right in the skin. Right now I'm wearing how many um, oils right here? About three to four layers right now. And my skin is just looking amazing. That is why I love to use oil. Patricia Irish, what oil can I use to keep a glow all day? And what oil can I use for damaged edges? All right, we have an oil in the bunch that is going to be good for damaged edges. And I'm also going to mix two oils to use on your earline and ball spot. So continue watching. Don't click off. Wait for the oil to come up. And um, free to be happy. Can you tell all the oils in layers like one at a time on face and will they have wrinkle already formed? Yes, we can. So just stay tuned. Let me go through all the oils and the benefits and then I'm going to come back. And that's what I'm doing. I'm actually layering it, but you know, I got to talk a little about the oil. I don't want to just go right through the 10 oils. I'm going through one by one so you know exactly what is in the oil and the benefit of the oil. If you're just joining, you miss. The first oil we talk about is the pomegranate seed oil. The next oil is the sesame seed oil. The next oil is the papaya seed oil. And the next oil is the ooba oil. And now we are going to move on. All the oils that I chose tonight are anti-aging facial oil that will help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin, boost the collagen production in the skin, give the skin a natural glow, and also clear the skin of pigmentation such as dark spots and blemishes. And these oils also will help to hydrate the skin, lock that moisture in the skin, leave the skin with a natural glow, soft and supple once used correctly. Okay? So if you have another question, Go ahead and ask because I'm coming up with the oil that I talk about a lot on this channel. And, you know, um, I have some run-ins with this oil, with this particular oil. Remember that all the oils I'm sharing today, we're not sponsored. These are my personal oil that I buy with my own money and I'm sharing with you. Not a sponsored video. Now, take a look at this oil. The honest truth, the way I stumbled on this particular oil was, you know, some company reached out to me and they shared this oil with me. Ever since, loving this oil. When I tell you, I love this oil. Now, I actually have a full video talking about this oil. And this is no a gimmick because the oil works on the skin. Now, if you are over 40, if you're over 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, you can make this oil your best friend. The reason for that is that it is rich in the antioxidant vitamin A. And when I say rich in vitamin A, I mean that it is rich in vitamin A. This oil have to smooth wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. Now, please know that everyone's skin is different and the way products works on your skin depend on how well you take care of your skin. So let me stop writing my trap before. Let me take, 
put a little insert right here. If you want any of these oils or any products, facial product to work on your skin effectively, the base is to make sure your skin is clean. How do you clean your skin? Not only by just washing it, but by exfoliating at least two to three times per week. When you do that, every product that you use, once it have the essential um, vitamins and minerals, will work better on your skin. So now that that is the out of the way, the oil that I'm so in love with is the cacao oil. C-A-C-A-Y cake oil and this is 100 percent pure cake oil on this particular jar it said anti-aging and anti-aging for sure now the cake oil contains more vitamin a than rosehip oil that's how good it is it contains at least 60 percent more vitamin a than rosehip oil it's one oil that can be labeled and is labeled anti-aging facial oil however i have to be honest with you the cake oil is on the pricier side the reason why it's on the pricier side is the fact that to get the cake oil you got to go way out like in the amazon you know in peru or somewhere out there this cake is grown okay now when they get it the process and all of that to make it you know make it a little more pricey however the link i'm going to share with you today i search and i find a very very good one for a very reasonable price which i'm going to put below the video now let me open the cake oil and show you this one come with a dropper and it's so precious like i don't want to waste it so look at that okay all you need is one drop of this oil and if you have a big face like me i get a big fat face these days so i'm giving two drops and two drops of this amazing precious oil look at that running down and i'm going to show you a trick about the kk oil if you're just joining i already have three to four different oils on my hands but look at this kk oil fragrant wise nothing fragrant just like oil it just no strong pungent scent or anything like that and look at what i'm gonna do massaging it in what i like about the cake oil when you massage it on your hand you feel a bit of a warmth okay you feel a bit of a warmth it just blend with your body temperature right away making it an amazing oil also for dry skin it absorbs right in that skin and look at that three oils underneath the cake oil and it is still not greasy at all and notice i didn't even press on it to say oh let me press hard to take away some of the oil no i lightly massage it on my hands and look how amazing this is so amazing this cake oil precious 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 an amazing anti-aging facial oil now the fact that i mentioned that you know 40 upwards it doesn't mean that if you're below 40 you cannot use this oil if you're below 40 use this oil to prevent aging prevent wrinkled skin prevent dry skin prevent sagging jawline prevent upper lip wrinkles prevent 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 but if you're over 40 and you start to see the wrinkles and all of that just get Get rid of get rid of get rid of get rid of now i like to mix the cake oil with the pomegranate seed oil however this this you don't have to mix it you can use it directly on the skin okay i'm just extra i just like to mix two oils sometimes but how do you use this on your skin you use this on top of your serum now honestly when i use the cake oil I don't use a moisturizer. It's like, you know, I just want to feel this cake oil on my skin. So I wash my face, I spritz on my facial toner. And if I'm using a serum, I use a serum and I take two drops of the cake oil and I apply it to my face. But not only my face, but also my neck and decollete. Whatever you apply to your face, apply it to your neck and decollete. Can, your, can the cake oil use on your face? Yes, yes, yes. 
directly on the face you can use it directly on the face two drops and even if you don't want to use a toner you wash your face you take two drops of the cocaine oil you warm it up and you just apply it on your skin press it on get it in those laugh lines and press it and then you massage your face how often should you use the cocaine oil you can use it a.m. and p.m. however I like to use it more so p.m at night before I go to bed so that when I'm sleeping it really works on the skin so if you're just joining we are talking about the cacao oil I'm sharing 10 amazing and when I say amazing I mean I'm sharing 10 really really amazing facial oils that you can use on the skin special oils what you miss so far um, pomegranate seed oil sesame seed oil you also miss papaya seed oil or oba oil and now we are just wrapping up the cocaine oil if you have any question about the cocaine oil go ahead and ask it right now so we are out with five oils and we have five more to go we're gonna take a few questions and then we're gonna move on Aza spot I need something I'll try or things not work all right so maybe you're looking for oil for spots and blemishes the best oil out of this bunch for spots and blemishes is the papaya seed oil and another oil I'm going to talk about in a minute is good for spots and blemishes on the skin um, Mary Maddy good evening my favorite sister good evening um, how you massage your face and that's from Curious, so let me do this. Hi, Joy Lloyd, Lear, how are you? Better late than never. I have a lot of videos showing how to massage the face. If you're trying to massage your forehead, a trick is hold a half a side. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. What a bam, bam. Anyway, all right, so massage it. Bam, 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 bam. That's for the forehead. When it comes on to the laugh line, start all the way up here. Bring it down, press it down. And just bring it all the way to the temple hold it for a few seconds go back go out and then for the neck upwards upwards we have a lot of videos on this channel showing you how to massage your face so you can check out a few of those videos when the show is over all right if you're just coming you know you want to support the channel give the video a thumbs up show some love if you're new comment so we could give you a shout out question ask your question anything about facial oils go ahead and ask if you're new also comment and let us know that you are new you support the channel by thumbs in the video up and by commenting 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 now any question we're moving on A to Z Chichi can you give me remedy for and fine lines <laughs> All these oils, I have a oil coming up that's going to be good for your hands. However, just the way you exfoliate your face, you need to exfoliate your hands. We have a couple of videos on the channel and exfoliate your hands and use a good hand cream or make an oil blend, mix it with some aloe vera gel and use it on your hands. We have a lot on the channel. I have very, very dry hands because I wash my hands like 50 times without even exaggerating for the day. And sometimes you guys see it in the videos like, you know, I just wash my hands, my hand is dry again. So, you know, I normally have to use a good hand cream or a good hand moisturizer, which I personally make for myself. Now let's move on to the next oil. And some of you, um, Sana, I have a question for the body. What oil or cream can I use to brighten up the inner thighs? And let me tell you the quick, 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 quick. The first thing you need to do is to exfoliate, okay? You need to exfoliate, and you can use a good sugar scrub to exfoliate the area. Sugar with a little lemon and a little oil, whatever oil you have, olive oil, coconut oil, you know you name it while you are at it you can make an even better scrub by adding a little bit of a turmeric powder to that mix it up in your kitchen keep it in your bathroom because nothing is in it to go bad exfoliate that in your area at least three to four times per week when you're done make sure that it is dry okay you need to make sure it's dry you got to also be mindful of the tight clothing and all of that that you wear once that is done then you are gonna massage it oil you want the oil for that 
coconut oil the good old coconut oil you can add a little vitamin e oil to that coconut oil rub it up rub it up rub it up and it's not going to irritate the skin either and that's the way you do it that's how you get rid of it the trick is to exfoliate okay because all of that clock pores there need to be exfoliated it need to breathe it need to breathe and a little trick for that also is that you can anyway I'm not gonna say that I would almost tell you another little thing that you can do but anyway let's move on to the next oil now the next oil Shanti what ingredient can I use to create a scrub for dark lips brown sugar white sugar put a little bit of a peppermint oil in it and a little bit of a olive oil or coconut oil and rub that thing on your lips Boom, 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 boom. Lips clean and looking juicy and nice. All right, so next ingredient, next oil is marula oil. Now, you might notice if you're a regular watcher on YouTube and you watch a lot of skincare, or if you're really into skincare, you will know that for the past, let's say, three to four years, this oil has taken off like off and the reason for that is this company um the ordinary they came out and they like you know you know you know the 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 marula oil but marula oil have been around for centuries okay for centuries and women from all over the world has used marula oil on the skin the reason for that is a very 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 good oil for most skin type okay for most skin type marula contains vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e it also contains a bit of omega-3 fatty acid and that makes it an amazing oil whether you have pimples blackheads whether you have whitehead whether you are having dry skin this oil is for you and fragrant wise absolutely nothing okay these are like you know nothing now look at the spirula oil look how clean and clear this is and i like when i buy my oils it do have dropper and i'm only gonna drop one drop of the marula oil on my hand now if you're you know curious about the marula oil you can research it when you're done but it's a wonderful amazing oil rich in antioxidant and wonderful oil to use on your skin for anti-aging purposes boost the collagen production in the skin hydrates the skin and if you apply it on your skin at night generously when you wake up in the morning your skin will look plump and really soft supple looking just like you spend all night you know getting your facial done so that is the marula oil and top of all no guys look at my hands I didn't wipe this off look at that so far i have about five oils on my hands i told you i chose oil tonight that is gonna absorb in the skin and it's not greasy at all now let me just slowly blend the marula oil on top of all the other oils this is my hand is gonna look like so nice later on like mm. look at that look at that and look that's the marula oil basically blended in the skin and top of all those oil can you believe it's a very very light oil that is good for most skin type pigmentation yes this is good for pigmentation if you want the spelling is m-a-r-u-l-a -A, marula m-a-r-u-l-a -A, marula oil amazing and if you're done when you're done you can go and research the marula oil for yourself but it's another amazing facial oil so so far we did six oils we if you're just joining we did the pomegranate seed oil we did the papaya seed oil we did the sesame seed oil we also did the ooba oil we did the cake oil and we just did the marula oil and now we are gonna move on any question about marula oil go ahead and comment i need to get rid of smile lines around my mouth and i have so many videos on that showing you how to get rid of the smile smile blah, 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 smile lines tomorrow i'm gonna be posting a moisturizer made from some of these oils tomorrow I'm gonna post a moisturizer made from some of these oils this moisturizer will have to get rid of the smile lines. it will also get to rid of under eyes wrinkles crow's feet wrinkles wrinkles on the forehead wrinkles on the neck and decollete so watch out for that video tomorrow it's gonna to contain some of these oils. now let me tell you something I am sharing 10 oils tonight however it doesn't mean that you need to go out and buy 10 oils okay 
It does not mean that. All I'm doing is giving you tips and some of the oils that are good for your skin. If you have one of these oils, it's okay. Choose one that you think you would like. Before you go and get this oil, read up on the oil to know exactly what you're getting. In spite of the fact, yes, I know these oil like the back of my hands, but still go ahead and research it for yourself. Now, if you are looking to brighten the skin, try to find an oil that is high in vitamin C okay and one such oil is like the papaya seed oil that is high in vitamin c it is also rich in vitamin a and also and the pomegranate seed oil is rich in vitamin c now if you have sagging skin aging skin find an oil that is high in vitamin a and that oil is like the the cacao oil I in vitamin A and another oil that I'm going to talk about right now is another amazing anti-aging facial oil and some of you know that this is like my die hard oil I love this oil love 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 and this is the rose hip oil I'm looking at any question AZ can you make ice cube a face mask yes I can I did have a few on the channel uh, Mr. Um, what's about the frown line in the middle of the forehead right here and um, actually I do this workout this facial exercise a lot you put your two finger here and you bring it all the way over to the brow bone like this so you up and about up and about up and about and you repeat that about 10 times that's how you get rid of the one right here I mine is not showing because I worked that out like you know yeah I do that workout a lot Gracie can I mix papaya seed oil with my vitamin C serum yes you can however I suggest when it comes on to a serum do not mix your oil in the serum I know a lot of people do but the serum is mostly water based okay serums are mostly water based and serums help to repair the skin so when you apply the serum on the skin what it does it's fix things anything that is broken on the skin that is what the serum does so i normally suggest that you apply the serum on the skin wait for a little like a minute or two and then you layer the oil atop of the serum so you layer the papaya seed oil or whatever oil you're going to use on top of the serum you want the serum to do its duty because they put special effort into making the serum that's why you're gonna see serum for anti-aging serum serum for moisturizing serum for getting rid of that serum for boots and collagen so apply your facial toner at the serum let it dry and then you apply your oil to the skin as I said some people like to mix it but because I personally know the full benefit of the serum, I suggest you layer the oil on top and do not mix it because most serum are water based. Now, Everett, hi, Everett, how are you? All right, so we're moving on to rose hip oil. Now, when it comes on to rose hip oil, if all out of all the oils that I mentioned, if you have to get one of these oil and you can only get your hands on one the best one would be the rose hip oil and why is that so even though i ramp and rage about all these oil is because it is i in all three of the essential vitamins that you need for your skin i in all three of the essential vitamins the essential antioxidant for your skin the rose hip oil is high in vitamin A. In spite of the fact that the cacao oil have more vitamin A than the rose hip oil, the rose hip oil have more vitamin C than the cacao oil. And it also have more vitamin E than the cacao oil. So this makes the, the rose hip oil an amazing oil to use on the skin. Vitamin A have to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. Vitamin C have to boost the collagen and clear the skin of pigmentation. Vitamin E have to reduce the wrinkles and hydrates the skin and lot that moisture in the skin for a fresh glowing skin you can use the cacao the rose hip oil directly on the skin or you can mix it with a carrier oil like some grapeseed oil if you have oily skin a little rose hip oil and a little grapeseed oil blend together use that on your skin it's going to help to get rid of the oily skin also 
fighting oil with oil. However, most people can use the rosehip oil and it does not irritate the skin. You really have to have extremely sensitive skin for this to affect the skin. So definitely check the rosehip oil out. Perfect, perfect. And you can also use the rosehip oil on your lips and you can use the rosehip oil under your eyes. If you have wrinkles under the eyes, if you have crow's feet, you can use it. You can use it on your hands. You can add a drop of the rosehip oil to your moisturizer and use it. Or you can add a bit of the rosehip oil in your eye cream. Now, most rosehip oil that you're going to find is going to have a strong color. Most rosehip oil you're going to find is going to have a strong color. Now, this one is organic. And let me give you a little history about rosehip oil in case you are not familiar with rosehip oil. Now, rosehip oil is made from rose seeds. Rosehip oil is made from rose seeds, not rose petal. However, it is not made from the regular rose that you probably see uh, using as your edging or all of that. It is made from a special set of roses that grows somewhere again in the Amazon. And this rose sometime like here, um, I saw like somewhere downtown Brooklyn, they plant this special rose and it's have a lot of maca on it. It don't really grow tall, very short. And most time the color, like after the bloom is fall off, then you have that orange looking bud. That's what the rose hip oil is made from, not rose petal, okay? So do not use, go in your kitchen and, you know, grab out your rose petal and try to brew it or try to extract oil, you're not going to get the rose hip oil from it. I was trying to find the picture to show you exactly what the rose hip oil um, tree look like. It is rose, but it's a special rose, okay? It is a special rose, and some people are familiar. Okay, here is a good picture of it. Now, take a look at this. That is the rose with the maca. So this is what the rose hip look like. And this is after the petal has fallen off. This is what is left. Not all roses, you're gonna find this color, this big fat one. These are from the little fine roses that they plant and they normally gather, gather up and full of maca. Like the, 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 the buds are so fine, like just a few leaves on it. So that is what the rose hip oil is made from. And some people might see, okay, this is a much better picture of it where it showed the rose hip. I don't know if you could see it, but that's what it is. So be mindful about the rose hip oil. That's what this is made from. Very, very good. If you Can you use rose hip oil on your hair? Yes, you can use it on your hair. Claudia, I have a lot of dark spots since I'm starting so wearing mask. I don't have I, I don't want what I should use for my face. And you're at the right place. And yes, last night I went out and I was wearing this mask and uh, it was like irritating my nose a little, you know. So I do understand that constantly wearing these facial masks, it could be a little irritating. However, whatever you do, wear your mask, okay? Wear your mask. I get annoyed sometimes when I see people wearing the mask under their neck. It is not to be under your neck. It's supposed to cover your face. And guess what? Stop pulling down your mask when you're talking to people. That is the main reason why you're wearing it. You're wearing it to protect yourself from droplets, okay? And when you're gonna talk to someone and you know, like, hi, how you doing? And hi, how you doing? No, the person droplet could drop on you. Keep your mask on and let's talk in these days. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But when you go out and you're in a crowd, you go to the grocery and all of that, just let's talk in, man. Let's talk in and stop pulling down your mask and talk because people are mindful of that. Anyway, I'm not going off on a tantrum. Let's talk about what you can do. The fact that you're wearing these masks and some of the time, you know, it's leaving this little mark. You need to use something rich in vitamin C and the vitamin C is what's going to have to clear up that area. But apply 
apply a little bit of our oil any of the nice you know facial oil that you have just apply a little bit at the era before you put your mask on or if you have your moisturizer apply a little so keep that area I drain it before you put your mask you know we don't have much lessons in mask wearing because this is just new to all of us but start massaging start moisturizing your face and add the little extra right here where the mask is gonna touch so that it doesn't irritate the skin and any oil that is rich in vitamin C will get the job done um, Jay bird I've seen you for a while is rosy oil good for dark uh, for darkness under the eyes i'm almost sure that's what you're asking and yes and i just spoke about that that is one of the better oil to use for dark under eye circles now if you're just joining we're talking about 10 facial oils that is good for the skin 10 amazing anti-aging facial oils 10 very light absorbing facial oils 10 oils that you can use on your face your neck your decollete and even your hands all these oils is good to use by themselves or they're good to mix with other oils or even good to tip a little bit in your facial moisturizer what oil did you miss so far we miss you miss the um, pomegranate seed oil papaya seed oil sesame seed oil or over oil marula oil cake oil and also the rosehip oil if you have any question about any of these oils that we just mentioned go ahead and ask right now so so far we did um seven oils we have three more to go however look what i have here i have four here and i have two more here but i'm gonna do 10 because i promised 10 but i have some extra all right any question about your skin or any question about oils go ahead and comment right now before i move on um sadie sadie anyway what about elan elan essential oils now very good question very good question because all the oils that i'm talking about tonight is not essential oil now i said the process to make essential oil is totally different from making regular oil as a matter of fact and this is going to be like a shocker to some of you essential oil do have a base oil but i'm not going to get into that tonight we are just talking about regular oil, but essential essential oils are totally different. Essential oils are anyway. It's gonna really throw me off to get into full details about essential oils. You do have some essential oils that is really good for the skin. I'm gonna do about another ten essential oils another day to tell you the many benefit of essential oils. But tonight we're talking about regular oil, but I want you to know not to confuse regular oils with essential oil. Totally different process, all right? All right, so let's move on since we're not getting any question about these oil. Now let's talk about, which one of these should I talk about first? All right, I'm gonna talk about the aloe vera oil. And some of you might be like, what? Aloe vera oil, yes, yes. Yes, it's, it's there. And look at mine. Mine is going down. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so pretty new to me, too. Pretty new to me. Probably about eight, nine months new to me. The aloe vera oil. And yes, they do have the aloe vera oil. It's perfect for wrinkles and fine lines. Perfect for fading spots and blemishes on the skin. For someone that was looking for oils that's going to clear hyperpigmentation, we have the aloe vera oil. You can mix it with a papaya seed oil, and this is going to get the job done. Now, this is what my aloe vera oil bottle look like fragrant-wise. Basically nothing. Rich in vitamin C. Rich in antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. Aloe vera oil is good for smoothing the skin. It's also is good for sun-damaged skin. I prefer to use the gel for sun-damaged skin over the oil. Be mindful of that. But a lot of facial products are now containing the aloe vera oil. Now let's take a little drop of that and look at that. I told you guys I am going to be bringing oil that is very, very light. What does the aloe vera oil do to the skin? Clear the skin of pigmentation. A very good oil for dark on the eye circles. 
aloe vera oil is also good to use as a neck oil so you apply it on your neck and your decollete and upward stroke to get rid of the sagging neck and look at this aloe vera oil just melt right in the skin just like that it is however a little richer a little more thicker than any other other oils that I just shared but it is a good oil to use and I like using this as my neck oil to be honest it's helped my neck to just stay moisturized and if you have dark neck this is gonna help to clear up the neck once used on a regular a very good oil not only for your skin but you can also use this in your hair you can mix this if you use um, any form of a hair oil or hair pomade you can actually add the olive vera oil to the ear pomade apply it on your scalp it's going to help to get rid of dandruff on the scalp it also going to help with bald spot and there's another oil that i'm going to show you that you can mix with the aloe vera oil and use it in your hair someone was asking about how you regrow your edges this is the oil for you mixed with another oil that i'm going to talk about right now aloe vera oil and price point it's not too over the top with the price point and it's also have antibacterial properties which makes it good for acne prone skin so a good oil for face hair and also nails okay another thing you can do with the aloe vera oil for those of you who take like bot you can drop about three drops of this aloe vera oil in your bot top to help to soften your skin so another amazing oil and i just apply it on my hands and as i can tell you can see i told you it's a little heavier than the rest of the oils because it didn't absorb totally in the skin and the reason for that is lot the moisture in the skin making this also a great oil for dry skin I'm sweating tonight and it's not the oil it's just this light that I have to look at that staring right down at me like just really you know keeping me warm so this is the oil for you if you have any question about the aloe vera oil go ahead and comment right now comment 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 and if you're just joining we're talking about 10 oils so far we are at number eight don't click off continue watching because i'm going to go back over the other oils that we just talked about let's take some questions have you ever tried the aloe vera oil if you're watching and you try the aloe vera oil comment 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 also this is one oil that is going to be in my shop that is going to be opening on March 19. So stay tuned for this oil. And you could tell I like this oil a lot. Dark Angel, what oil do you, which oil do you put on lips? Any of these oils can go on the lips. However, I would favor the pomegranate. And the reason why I would favor the pomegranate is because this is the only oil out of the bunch that I'm sharing that have a little bit of an essence to it, a little bit of a... You know a little sweety kind of fragrance and also it is very moisturizing however if you have dry lips dry lips I would suggest you get some good old Vaseline or get some um, bee wax I make a good um, lip balm out of bee wax melt the bee wax put some pomegranate seed oil in the bee wax and a little bit of a coconut oil let it set and there you have your perfect lip balm hydrating even better than any lip balm you're gonna buy out there I have a old recipe on the channel showing you how to make a lip balm very very old probably three to four years ago don't know where to find it but I'll make a new one for you and honestly that's like the best not because I made it it was like the best lip balm any question on the olive oil and the um, aloe vera oil comment Taryn, I like the olive oil it helped my ear grow but the bad thing on my face made my, me get facial hair. So you're saying that you use um, um, olive, olive oil or olive oil, which one, olive vera, let me know which one you're talking about that give you facial hair. Cause I'm gonna give you a tip at the end of the show how you, oh, olive vera oil, okay. So you get facial um, hair from the olive vera oil. That is what you're thinking that you get the facial hair. What you can do, with the same aloe vera oil is that you can take a little bit of a turmeric powder 
listen carefully a little bit of a turmeric powder mix a nice little paste with this aloe vera oil apply to wherever you have the facial hair let it sit for a couple of minutes at least an hour if you can and rinse it off and treat that area at least three to four times a week no more than about 30 minutes or so on that area and you're gonna notice that you're not gonna have that problem again okay all right so but you got to keep doing it all right if you're just joining we're talking about 10 oils that is good for the skin if you want to ask any question about any of these oils go ahead and comment and if you haven't thumbs up the video share some love on the channel by thumbs in up the video do not click off I'm gonna go over all the oils that we talk about but I still have a few more oils to go now let me talk about one oil and this look at look at that look at that it's a good thing I have some more anyway this is another oil that you all need most people you know should have this oil because it is good for a lot of things remember on the top of the hour when I was talking about oils and when you search for oils you need to search for cold press and first press and I said with some exceptional this is the oil with the exception here I have the good old castor oil and I'm Jamaican so I'm biased so I buy the Jamaican castor oil now castor oil is a very good oil to use on the skin it however gets a bad rap when it comes on to using it on your face and the reason for that is because of the strong pungent smell of the castor oil now when you get your castor oil and you smell that what we call bad smell don't shy away from it what happening is that castor oil contain rinsalilic acid which is released when the castor beans is roasted now why I said exceptional this is one oil that if you have to buy it the best oil is the roasted castor oil when you get the cold pressed castor oil it does not release the rinsalilic acid in order for the rinsalilic acid to release the all the beans have to be roasted and that is why most people swear by the good old Jamaican black castor oil or dark castor the black castor oil to say black castor oil is roasted castor oil you're gonna see white castor oil out there not roasted is it bad no but the stronger one the better one is the bro is the black one that is roasted because you get that release of the rinsalilic acid how do i know so much about castor oil because i am you know from a place where they have castor oil and not only that I am um, you know I would say friendly with the, the person that actually make this oil and I know the entire process and I also do my own research I grew up using castor oil to be honest I grew up using it didn't like it because of the smell but when I get older and I understand that is the process of the castor oil why it have the scent I adore it and I use it religiously now ladies it's not a myth when they said if you rub this castor oil on certain areas when certain things is going on it will have to shrink the trick is you got to do it religiously now castor oil is good for the hair the nails but it is also good for wrinkles and fine lines and it's good to boost collagen I suggest you use it at night you don't want to go out smelling like castor oil and that is why most people shy away from using it on the face because of the strong scent but mix the castor oil two drops of the castor oil with any of your favorite oil and you're gonna get amazing results this castor oil has so much benefits I can do an entire video just talking about castor oil especially the Jamaican black castor oil use it religiously now if you find that you have dry feet mix this castor oil with some petroleum jelly or some coconut oil and use it on your feet push your feet in a sock and in one week your feet are gonna be like baby soft this thing is good the only downside is the fragrance this is good for you to have and ladies it's a no joke that you can rub put stretch marks oh I forget about that you have everlasting stretch marks on your stomach area and wherever else we tend to get the stretch mark this is a good oil for you now the thing about the castor oil is that it's very very thick so it's not spreadable and that is why I suggest you mix it with like 
coconut oil or even olive oil or even the very um, um, grapeseed oil mix it in to lighten it up a bit but amazing if you know anything about castor oil go ahead and comment right now or any question about castor oil comment 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 carleen dunn how are you what is the best oil to use on the face before going to bed any of these oils that i'm talking about tonight can use on your face before you go to bed all these oils that I'm talking about tonight are anti-aging facial oil. That is going to smooth wrinkles and fine lines, boost collagen, hydrates the skin, clear hyperpigmentation on the skin. So you can choose any one of these 10. Any one of these 10 you can use at night on the skin. Now we're moving on and I'm going to talk about one of my newfound favorite oil also. And I've been using this a lot on my channel. Now notice the bottle is dark, but this one is blue. It doesn't matter. It's uh, just have to be dark. Why am I using this oil so much these days? Newly discovered and done its work, okay? It really, really work and is very, very light. For those of you with oily skin, I'm suggesting this oil to you. This is the cucumber seed oil. Yes, they have cucumber seed oil. Cucumber seed oil. I am loving this oil so much. It's no joke. And yes, it's my oil. So fragrant no scent nothing nothing just you know oil so you're not gonna smell like cucumber any at all and they come with like this one come with a dropper look at that why i like this oil so much is very very light okay it's very 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 light and when you massage it on the skin it's like it just disappear it doesn't leave the skin greasy it is high in vitamin c for those of you looking for pigmentation this is good oily skin people this is also a good oil to combat that oil production on the skin dry skin people looking for oil to get rid of the dry skin without the greasy feel this is good for you and this also contain antibacterial properties now take a look and now I'm gonna kind of wipe off my hand because you know I use the aloe vera oil and take a look now let me show you what this oil look like I so love this oil and one drop one drop okay and look at that oil running down right there it's almost like water okay and look at me rubbing this oil oh it doesn't feel like velvet and i'm not even exaggerating when you apply this oil on your skin you get that kind of a velvety feel and i think maybe that's why i like it so much because when you use it on oh let me just rub it on my face i hate to waste it when you use it and you touch your skin it gives you this nice nice velvety feel to it really really good i'm gonna put a link in the description box where you can get your cucumber seed oil if you're on the chat and you have tried cucumber seed oil before can you please comment 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 and let me hear from you love it love it because it works on the skin you can use it directly on the skin if you're in a hurry and you want just a little moisturizer on your skin two drops of the cucumber seed oil rub it on your skin and you're good to go no greasy feel at all it's good for the neck and the decollete and it's a perfect oil to use under your eyes you can use it in your diy facial you know stuff and also your diy eye cream eye serum just use up the cucumber seed oil i am rushing so i have one more oil and i was not gonna get out of here without talking about uh essential oil now this is an essential oil um skipping over another oil that i have which is the kiwi oil this kiwi oil i'm going to be brief with it because i want to talk a little bit about the essential oil we have kiwi oil and kiwi oil is another oil that is rich in vitamin c kiwi oil and the papaya seed oil basically go together but check out the kiwi oil guess what for dark circles, dark on the eye circles, that's why I bring this one out. This is rich in vitamin K. This will help to clear the dark circles, puffy eyes, and eye bags. And you can mix the kiwi oil with the cucumber seed oil, and you get a good oil for your under eyes. Check out the kiwi oil, however. Whoops, look at that. Woo, it almost looks like olive oil. And this is a second oil that has a little whiff of a fragrance. But look at that. It is very thick. 
and it's not as light as the other oil and you can see how thick this one is and that is why you can mix the kiwi oil with a carrier oil to let it be more spreadable but the kiwi oil i use for my dark under eyes and you can also use the kiwi oil in your laugh line and massage it but because it is i in vitamin k which is a good oil for your under eyes you can use it so there you have your 10 oils but let me talk about this one special oil first i had this oil to the bunch because it is one oil that you all need to have this is the tea tree oil it is an essential oil and remember i was talking about the process of you know making these other oil compared to the essential oil it's a different process so this essential oil is tea tree oil and why i chose tea tree oil because it is the one oil that i like to use a lot in my diy because it have antibacterial properties if you have spots blemishes acne prone skin all you need is a drop of the tea tree oil now if you have acne skin you want to try any of these oils that i share you need this oil because you're going to add one to two drop of this oil in any of those oil to use on the skin and it's going to have to clear up your skin religiously another trick with the tea tree oil is that you can add your tea tree oil to any moisturizer that you have and this is for acne prone skin this is for people with large pores a lot of blackhead going on on the skin you're gonna add the tea tree oil one to two drops of the tea tree oil now there's another thing that you can do with the tea tree oil if you have dandruff on the scalp you can actually mix the tea tree oil with the Jamaican black castor oil, mix the two together, massage your scalp with it, go under a, a steam cap or, you know, put some form of a heat source or wear the cap around and then you rinse off. It will have to get rid of that just from your scalp. So there you have it. It's a level, but the bonus was the essential oil. So let me run over the 10 oils, 10 amazing anti-aging facial oils that you can use on the skin. The very first facial oil was the pomegranate seed oil, rich in vitamin C, will help to re remove wrinkles and fine lines on the skin, help to boost the collagen production in the skin. The second oil was the sesame seed oil. If you're just joining, make sure it's on roasted sesame seed oil unroasted sesame seed oil sesame seed oil is good for boots in collagen reducing wrinkles and fine lines hydrating the skin the next oil is papaya seed oil rich in vitamin a vitamin c vitamin e good for wrinkles good for dark spots and blemishes on the skin good for the neck and also it is good for your entire body the next oil is ooba oil ooba oil is high in vitamin c it's one oil that is also good for your hair and your nails use it on your face directly or mix it with other oils we also have the aloe vera oil aloe vera oil is rich in vitamin c but it also have antibacterial properties which makes it good for your face, your neck, your hair, your nails also. And you can also add it to your bought water. Our next oil is marula oil, another oil that is good for most skin type, whether you're in your 20s or you're in your 90s. This oil will work on the skin, lock the moisture in the skin, smooth the skin of wrinkles and fine lines. We also have rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is one of my favorite oil. Contains vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. Make it an all-rounder oil that you can use. And if you have to get one oil, the rosehip oil is the oil for you because it do everything, double duty. The next oil is another of my favorite, and this is the kake oil. If you are over 40 and you have wrinkles on the skin, sagging skin, deep parentheses, droopy eyelid, wrinkle on the neck and the jawline, this oil is for you. Rich in vitamin A, more vitamin A than rosehip oil. Amazing anti-aging facial oil. The next oil is the cucumber seed oil. Cucumber seed oil is rich in vitamin C, good for dark circles, and it's also good for oily skin. It's a light oil, it's absorbed in the skin, and it's a great oil to use on your face. 
The next oil is the um, castor oil and Jamaican black castor oil. Good for your face, good for your hair, good for your nails, good for your scalp, good for wrinkles on your neck. And our final oil is the kiwi oil. And the kiwi oil contains a high amount of vitamin K. Vitamin K will have to get rid of dark on the eye circles. Mix in the kiwi oil with the cucumber oil to create a powerful I am um, oil for your dark under eyes. The bonus oil is not an oil at all, but an essential oil, which is tea tree oil. A very good oil to have in your collection. A very good oil for pimples and blackheads. You name it on the skin. So have your oil, the tea tree essential oil. If you have, you know, large pores and the blackheads and the acne prone skin, just add this to your regular oil and make it your own. So there you have it. Ten amazing oil for your skin now that we wrap this up it is question time so I'm gonna give you about another five minutes you're gonna ask your question so I'm gonna take as much question as I can right now so go ahead and ask and ask and ask and ask any question on any of these oils if you know all of these oils comment if there is one oil that I just mentioned that you have no idea exists Go ahead and ask, let's say what oil it is. Also, out of all these oils that we mentioned tonight, which is your favorite? And if you have to get one of these oil, which one would you purchase? Let me hear from you right now. I'm going to take all the comments. Um, free to be happy. I use tea tree oil for so many different uses. Renee, yeah, tea tree oil is good. Um, Shareem, thank you. Um, Denny. Can any tea tree oil be used on the face? I do not suggest you use tea tree oil on the face directly. I suggest you mix it with a carrier oil. So if you're using a carrier oil, let's say almond oil, one tablespoon of almond oil to about five to six drops of tea tree oil, that's it, not directly on the skin. Unless you have a pimple and you want to take a Q-tip and put that tea tree oil right on the pimple but not all over your face. Very good question. Can you, you all, can you use them all together? Yes, you can use all of these oil and make a very powerful oil for your face. However, I suggest use no more than three to four oils together. You can use up to six oil, it doesn't matter. But yes, all of these that I mentioned tonight are friendly enough to use together. Margaret, would you recommend using olive vera gel only as a face serum? Yes, 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 yes. Only as a face serum, yes. Apply the olive vera gel on the skin, let it dry, and then you had a moisturizer on top of that. Perfect question. What is best for pimples? The tea tree oil. Avril, cost they have each benefit, okay? Sharon, can I use tea tree oil with carrot oil on my face? Yes, if you're having blackheads and whiteheads and large pores, yes. Carrot seed oil is rich in vitamin A. One teaspoon of carrot seed oil to three drops of tea tree oil. Paula, rose hip oil, yes, very good choice. We have Joy, thanks so much. Um, I R D A D Y D Y. Can I use them? Yes, I did answer that question. If you have a question for me tonight, go ahead and ask right now. Kim Jackson, when I use the aloe vera gel on my face, it seems to get rid of wrinkles. Does the aloe vera oil works better? As a matter of fact, both works very, very well. Now, how I personally like the aloe vera gel oil also is to mix it with the gel and create a moisturizer but i find that they work for different reasons the aloe vera gel do help with wrinkles but it also hydrates the skin the aloe vera oil not only hydrates the skin but it also gives my skin a natural glow and a nice little lift to it especially when i moisturize it and you know massage it in the skin uh, Merlin, I am from Jamaica, and where in Jamaica are you, uh, Merlin Barrett? I do have relatives with your last name. All right, any question, um, go ahead and comment. Seashell, what castor oil promotes face, facial or body hair? I'm not sure if I'm understanding this question. What castor oil promotes facial? Oh, okay, so you're asking if a castor oil is gonna give you more facial ear or something like that. 
Oh, you want to grow facial hair? Okay, maybe that's what you're saying. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. But if you're looking for any Jamaican, well, black castor oil. Black castor oil is best for regrowing bald spots, whether on your hair, your chin, it doesn't matter. But black castor oil is one of the better oil to regrow here. I hope that's the question you're trying to ask. All right, so um, nobody's asking Mike. Hello, Chichi. Do the product that you talk about are good for reverse aging and get rid of eye bags and dark circle? Yes. So the two oils that I suggest is the cucumber seed oil and also the, 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 the kiwi oil. Mix these two oils together if you can or if you can only get one and use it for your dark circle. Now, if you watch my channel a lot and maybe you don't, but, you know, I suggest that you clean your eyes, clean the areas around your eyes if you want your products to work. When it comes onto your eyes, sometimes we wash our face, we totally forget about our eyes. Use a wash rod or just use something to, you know, anything nice and clean to clean their eyes so that your products can work better under your eyes. But the kiwi oil as a standalone, since it is rich in vitamin K or the cucumber seed oil, or you can mix the two together. Good for dark circles. However, I have a lot of recipe on the channel for dark on the eye circles. I suffer with dark on the eye circles and I find the parsley. I have this remedy I made with the parsley and I, you know, dip my cotton pads in put it over my eyes for about 30 minutes, and then I apply one of these oils. Works like a charm, really, really good. So you should give it a try. Check out a few of my videos, okay? Now, right makes sense. Thanks for letting me know. All right, very good. Now, what oil is good for turkey neck and ant and knuckle wrinkles? That's a good question. For the turkey neck, all right, so if you can get the papaya seed oil, and the honest truth is the KK oil because it's rich in vitamin A, it's good for wrinkles and fine line. As I said, however, it's on the pricier side, but I find a very good one, which is not as pricey as this one that I have here, that's gonna get the job done. Papaya seed oil and cacao oil is two powerful oils that you can use for sagging neck, sagging jawline, wrinkles on the face, and also it's gonna help to plump the skin up. Two amazing oil. Aka, A-I-C-A, hi, your face is looking good, thank you. Tia Scarlett, what about grapeseed oil? You did not mention. And the reason why I didn't mention, well, I talk a little bit about mixing it with any of these oil. I talk so much about it. It's a carrier oil. It's a very light oil rich in vitamin E and vitamin C. Grapeseed oil is one of my favorite carrier oil to mix with any of these oil because it's absorbed in the pores and it will not clog the pores. Another oil I didn't talk about tonight is another of my favorite carrier oil, which is the avocado oil. Avocado oil, A, B, and C, and it also has the electrolyte. Any of these oils, you can mix the avocado oil with. A tablespoon of other avocado oil to any of these two to three drops or a half a teaspoon works like a charm. What is good for scars? And the kiwi oil is also good for scars. The papaya seed oil will help to remove scars, old scars, new scars, and it's also good for stretch marks. And you can also use the um, castor oil with a little bit of the kiwi oil to get rid of scars on the skin. Anything that is rich in vitamin C will help to clear scars and pigmentation from the skin. All right, so um, if you're just joining, support the channel by giving it a thumbs up. And I'm still waiting for more questions because I'm going to go in the next four minutes. So if you have a question, go ahead and ask it right now before we get up. If you're just joining, you want me to do a run over of the 10 oils that we mentioned, here are the 10 oils. And I'm not going to do them in order as I did on the show because I already have them mixed up here. But the first oil is pomegranate seed oil. We talk about rose hip oil. We talk about cacao oil. I mean, marula oil. We talk about the cacao oil. We talk about kiwi oil, cucumber seed oil. We also have papaya seed oil, ooba oil. We also talk about sesame seed oil, aloe vera oil, and you know, castor oil, and we have one oil, one essential oil, and it is a tea tree oil. So there you have it. And that's my time. Thank you all for watching. We are going to be having a show tomorrow night. If you want me to do the essential oil, I'll do so. If not, I'll come with a different topic. 
especially when it comes on to laugh lines, wrinkles on the face, spots and blemishes on the skin. So if you want to know more about remedies, that's going to get the job done and clear up your skin. Join us tomorrow night at 7.30 for another live show. Now, this is not going to be a series where we are here every night. So make sure you come because next week we might not be here. So definitely set your clock. Look out for the notification 7.30 p.m. for another live show. Come with your questions, okay? Any facial situation that you have going on, come with your question. We're going to be taking the questions tomorrow. And I'm also going to share some recipes with you tomorrow. You don't want to miss. And I'm going to share some recipe, mixing some of these oils together. So come prepare for that. Thank you all for being here. Go and watch my videos that I post this week. There's a lineup, some amazing video. And tomorrow I'm going to be posting a video with some of these oils. You don't want to miss it. Thank you, Lucy, for moderating the show. Thanks to all my members. And thank you for all the newbies. Thank you for all my subscribers. If you're watching, you never, you didn't subscribe, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and be subscribed. Also, we have membership on this channel. If you want to be a member, there's the join button. If you click on the join button, you can choose a tier and become a member. We're also doing a weight loss challenge. The link is below, 30 days weight loss challenge. If you click on the link, it will take you to our Facebook group and you can join our Facebook group. Just make sure to answer all the questions. I have a store coming which is going to open on March 19. We're going to sell all some of these amazing oils and my skincare line and all of that. So go ahead, click on the link in the description, sign up with your email. So as soon as the shop is open, you will get a notification. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Come back tomorrow for more skincare topics. Be good to yourself. Love yourself. Don't just watch, but watch and go ahead and take care of your skin. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.